about six o'clock in the morning. We got a nice fog. Makes it quite magical. We have a little uh, shipmate who made his home right there. Good morning, day two. Major fail on the coffee. I grabbed the shitty coffee. So now we got the dinghy loaded into the water. We're launched, and we're gonna go ahead and go to shore. We planned on leaving at around eight o'clock in the morning, which is it's eight thirty now. But because of this pretty dense fog, we decided that we should probably wait until later. And we're having to time when we leave here with the uh, currents and tides for going through Indian Pass, which is about an hour and a half from here. About eight, nine uh, miles. So the currents can get pretty intense going through Indian Pass. So we really want to go around slack tide and that's either going to be 9.45 this morning. Uh, so I think we're going to miss that one. Uh, the next one is at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So we might try leaving around 2, 1 or 2 and see how that goes. Maybe leave a little earlier and screw around around here. We shall see. Uh, right now our current mission is going to be trying to get a bunch of kelp that has wrapped around our anchor line um, untangled. I think it's like 100 pounds worth of kelp, so we'll see how that goes. You ready for this, Justin? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> Where are you? All right. <laughs> I think I see the land back there. <laughs> oh my god, this is really hard. I think the seat's too high. Well, we're not going very far, so... So foggy this morning. Feeling about your rowing technique? Terrible. <laughs> I really suck at rowing. I just need more practice though. Just like a sailing. Just like with being out on the ocean and anchoring and not fucking shit up on the boat and packing coffee. Just need more practice. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> just gonna go around in circles.
my gear. Oh look. Got some columbines blooming. Wow, there are dandelions here. That's crazy. Some currants. We've got fruit on them, just not ripe yet. And then this is some sort of a Mmm. It's in the carrot family, which can either be really edible or really poisonous. So we're gonna try some? I'm pretty sure that one's edible, but I don't know for sure, so hell no. Big tall plants are cow parsnip or pushki. Little guys, <laughs> our plantain, different kind of plantain than what we have in South Central, also edible. Away is through that fog, not very far. Beautiful Alaskan paradise. something laid down to rest here. Very likely a bear. <laughs> I don't think they're moose. That's a big lay spot. <laughs> yeah. Found one of the plants I was looking for. This is Lovage. It, uh, it's also in the carrot family. Mm, and it is so delicious. It's great as a spice. Adding into things kind of like you would cilantro. And there's quite a bit of it right here. Which is exciting. through the forest by myself. Oh, Justin's back behind me a little bit. We have a composting toilet on the boat. Not quite ready to use it. We need to learn a little more about how it works in the proper usage. So we're both trying to find a good place to take a shit. Uh, man, no. I've missed the Southeast Alaskan forest. It's very different from South Central. It's much wetter. And right behind me, this towering plant. This is Oplopanics or Devil's Club. Uh, it's got a bunch of thorns under the leaves and all on its spine, as you can see. It's, uh, they will fester too, the, the, the but it's a very sacred plant. It's revered by the Alaska natives. It's a wonderful, powerful medicine. It can be used for 
a myriad of things. Uh, people have said that it helps them with their controlling their blood sugars if they have type 2 diabetes. It helps with rheumatoid arthritis. It's supposedly an adaptogen, which if you don't know what that is, just kind of helps balance all your systems and keeps you healthier um, and is safe to take over a longer period of time. And it can also help with cuts and scrapes and sore muscles. It's, it's good for a whole lot of things. It's a very beautiful, powerful plant that deserves respect. All right, I think I found a good spot, so I won't video this part. So tell me what you were just doing. So I was walking this direction right there. There's a trail, kind of, game trail. And I walked over there around the corner. There's like a rock point that comes down and there's a cliff and you go around the corner and there's a cave. <laughs> And the trail goes into the cave. So that's pretty cool. What do you think is in the cave? <laughs> um, friends. <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, turn around and walk away. <laughs> Why don't you hurry up and get your business done and we'll get out of here. Sounds like a solid plan. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good luck. I'll uh, yell if I hear or see anything. So pretty much since Justin left you in the bathroom, I've just been standing here and uh, staring in the direction that he told me that there was two flies, hoping that there is not actually a pair in there. If there is, that he continues sleeping for a little while. And there have been too many bear attacks already this year in Alaska. And I don't want to be one of those statistics. So. Yeah, don't fuck with the bears. Hopefully he is done soon and we can be on our way back to the boat. That is what I'm hoping. <sighs> this is really nice so far. I hope today goes smoothly. So, Alright, onward. Oh my god, I think I heard something coming from that direction. So pretty much... Since you left, I've just been standing here staring in that direction, <laughs> hoping that a bear doesn't come my way. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was doing after I found that too. Yeah, let's go. So, speaking of the fog bank that's out there, uh, that is something we need to think about when we think about getting back by Tuesday night. <laughs> like, never sail to a schedule. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, yeah, but just something have. to think about. Yep. I think I hear a whale. Nope, it's a boat. <laughs> All right. Definitely your turn to fumble with the rowing. Say goodbye to your bear friend. I did. I gave him a kiss goodbye. I'm going to do this way. Parallel and try and... This is not made for people with legs. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you feel the same way. I was like, I keep. <laughs> Maybe I gotta. Heading back to the boat. I think Justin's doing a pretty decent job of rowing. Maybe. Nice fog bank out there. 
This stingy really fucking sucks. Such <laughs> growing. As long as you don't miss the boat and float out into the end of the okay. Yep. <laughs> Throwing power oh, come on. Look at those arms. You've been working out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good to be good then. So that one's a bull kelp. make pickles out of it. Really good. And we've got some ribbon kelp and some pucus. Up next, we pull the anchor and make a run through Indian Pass toward the Gulf of Alaska.